Hey guys, my name is Yvette and welcome to my DIY channel and I hope that you guys are having a great day. So for today's video, I wanted to share with you guys how I made a modern sculpture out of Christmas wrapping paper and plaster and then how I made an air dry clay vase. So yeah, let's just get started. Okay guys, our first project is going to be an abstract plaster sculpture and so I'm going to be using this old Christmas wrapping paper and I'm just going to start trying to make like a donut shape. I feel like an arched shape would also be really pretty for this. And I'm going to keep adding this wrapping paper until I like the thickness of it. I'm going to take some aluminum foil and I'm going to wrap it around my wrapping paper and this is really going to hold my shape together. You guys can see that one side is bigger than the other and so I'm just going to go with it and I'm going to keep making that side a little bit bigger. Here I'm pressing down on my donut shape to make sure that it can stand up straight. Okay guys, so I really like this shape right here. I'm just gonna keep it simple and now I'm gonna take some of these ready to go plaster strips and wrap my shape in them. And so for these, all you have to do is dip them in cold water for a few seconds. Make sure that they're really nice and saturated and then you can pull them out, run your fingers through them and then place it on your object. And when it's on your object, make sure to blend out the plaster otherwise you're gonna end up with like the little holes in the mesh. These will definitely stick onto your shape and these are supposed to dry within 3 minutes. I didn't have enough plaster strips to cover my whole sculpture and so I do have regular plaster of Paris and so I added mesh to wherever it needed it on my shape and here's the plaster that I mixed up and now I'm just going to apply the plaster to my sculpture and I'm not going to be too neat with this. I really want this to have a lot of texture. This is the sculpture after that first coat of plaster and I can still see some mesh poking through so I'm gonna add in a second coat and then let this dry. Alright, so here she is dry and now I'm just going to lightly sand her but not too much. I do want to keep most of the texture. Now I'm going to paint. I'm also going to be using the blotting technique to paint, so I'm taking a damp paper towel and I'm dipping it into the paint that I want and then I'm just going to blot this all over my sculpture and this is really going to give it like a faux stone look.
Okay, so our second project is going to be the air dry clay vase. And so start out by grabbing two chunks of clay and try to make them the same size. Now I'm going to roll them into circles. Take one of your circles and poke your thumb about halfway through and now we're going to start pinching the sides and like moving it as we go and this is called the pinch pot method. This is basically going to make a little bowl. I'm also making sure to press my thumb down on the clay to make it go deeper but make sure that you don't poke your thumb all the way through to the other side of the clay. If you're a beginner, you can leave the sides of the bowl on the thicker side because it will just be easier for this to hold its shape. But if you're more advanced, you can definitely make this a little bit thinner. But because I haven't made one of these in a long time, I'm going to leave mine on the thicker side. I'm going to do the same thing to the other circle. Okay, so here are both of my little mini bowls and don't worry about them being perfectly similar as long as they're like around the same size, you should be good. And so we're going to attach them just like this. I'm going to add some water to the rim of the bowl and then I'm going to take my feather wire tool and I'm just going to start scoring my clay. And now you can attach both pieces and I really made sure to press these into each other. I'm going to take some more clay and roll it into a coil. And then now I'm going to wrap this coil around my base and I didn't make my piece long enough so I'm going to add some more right here. Taking my molding tool, I'm going to blend the two pieces together. By the way guys, I did make my coil a little bit too big, but you guys can definitely make yours smaller. And I'm not going to be too neat with this right now because I am going to take some water to help, you know, blend this all together. And then I'm going to go back over it again with my molding tool. By the way guys, this is really going to help the vase stay together as one piece. You don't always have to do this step, but it definitely helps. So this is what I ended up with and it looks like a little egg, but I want my vase to have more of like a short brown shape. So I'm going to press down on it and kind of try to help it shape into more of like a little chubby circle. Next, I'm going to work on, I guess it's called like the neck of the vase or like the stem of the vase, whatever. So roll out some more clay and I'm going to trace out a rectangle and then I'm just going to roll this into a circle and attach it together. Sorry guys, I'm not too good at this part. I've always had trouble like doing these little types of circles. I have these little pieces on the ends on both sides sticking out so I'm going to take some scissors and trim those off. So here's our little stem and I'm going to place it on my vase. Now I'm going to take my needle tool and trace out the inside of the circle right there. And now we can see how big we have to make our circle so that we can fit some dried flowers through this vase. I'm going to use my needle tool to carve out that circle. Look guys, you can kind of see in there now. Okay, so I'm going to attach my two pieces together and I made sure to really press them into each other again. Taking another coil of clay, I'm going to wrap this around the stem of the vase and then I'm going to blend these two in together. Make sure to use some water to help this blend together more. So 
So you guys can totally be done here, but I wanted to add in a little handle and so that's what I'm gonna do right now. So here she is guys, and now I'm just going to let her dry for a few days. Later. Our vase is nice and dry, and I feel like I don't even have to sand her, so I'm just going to paint this a light terracotta color, and yeah, we're done. Alright guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me any questions if you have any and subscribe for more DIYs and stay safe, stay healthy and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!